Hello everyone. In this session we are going to understand the concept of classes and objects. In object oriented programming, whenever we want to create an object, we need a template that describes the characteristics, features of the object, uh, the actions that an object can do, etc. And simply that template is called as class. So class is nothing but a template a blueprint which is required to create an object and class contains two things one is the variables that describe different parameters of the object and second thing is the methods so let us take an example let us go to Eclipse and let us create a class as cars okay and in the class cars let us create some variables that describe the cars so I'm going to create first variable as string color and default color I'm going to provide as white uh, second thing I'm going to create it as make is equal to Honda those are the default values uh, they can be changed when you create the object of this class is it necessary to provide these default values no you can keep them black Okay, it's purely optional say third thing I'm going to create it as uh, the type of the vehicle and let's call it as SUV three basic variables that describes the cars and let's create a simple method that sh displays the details of my car so I'm going to create a public void display details and in this method I'm simply going to display what kind of car I have so simply we can use sys out and say I have we are simply going to concatenate these variables inside a statement to make it like I have a Honda SUV of red color white color whatever okay so simply three variables and a method uh, into our first basic class now let us see how we can create the object of the class and how we can use it so for that purpose let us create a temporary class with the main method so let's call it as temp and let's select this public static void main and we'll understand the importance of main method in the next session for now just select main method and click finish and over here inside the main method of the temp class let us create the object now to create the object of any class we first need to declare the object like we declare a string like string ABC you know we declare a string and then we uh, assign some values or we can declare and we can assign some initial value at the same time right so similarly we first need to declare the object with respect to the class so we say that object of cars say C1 is equal to new cars now over here if you concentrate on this part this new is the keyword that we use to instantiate the object of any class whenever we say new it means we are instantiating a new object we are creating a new object of the class the name of the object is c1 and cars is simply we call the constructor of the class concept of constructor we will see in detail in the future sessions for now just remember whenever we want to create the object of any class we will define it with the class name and then after the equal to sign we'll use the keyword new and then we'll call the constructor that is uh, it's for now just remember that the constructor is something similar to a method inside the class whose name is exactly similar to the class name so cars and open close brackets will become the constructor of cars okay so when you create the object you can use the object and then access the variables and the methods from the class so let us assign some values say color is I don't want to use the default color I want to change it to red fine then I want to change the make to say BMW and I do not want to change the type I want it ASUV so I can use the default values as well like for the type we are going to use the default value that is fine 
so with respect to c1 let us call the method that is display details so what it is going to do with respect to object c1 what are the details of my car now it is going to display when i run this program it's going to say i have a bmw suv of red color can we create multiple objects yes absolutely you can create multiple objects say from the same template i want to create another car so c2 and say c2 dot color is equal to orange and c2 dot make is toyota and c2 dot type is equal to sedan and c2 dot display details so just create another object and it's like it's going to create the copy of the class cars and then whatever changes you make to the copy they will be restricted to copy itself so any change that we are doing to the variables with respect to c2 that is not causing any changes to the c1 object and likewise you can create a number of objects of a class so that's the benefit of object oriented programming when you run this code this c1 and c2 will run distinctly so I have a Toyota sedan of orange color. I don't know whether they make it just for example. Okay, so simple concept of class and object. Create a class, add some features, add some methods. And when you want to create the object, just define the object of the class by using the name of the class and then use the new keyword to instantiate it. And then call the constructor of the class.